So now that you have prepared your web maps and shared them with your group, what's next? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another exciting tutorial. Today we will be collecting data in the Collector for Art GIS app, both online as well as offline. And I'll also be showing you how to sync your data and then taking your data from ArtGIS online and putting it back into your geodatabase. All right, so let's get started. Let's launch the Collector app. I've already signed into the app with my ArtGIS online, my organizational account to be more specific. And once I've signed in, I will see all maps that are available to be edited in Collector. Before I tap on the map to be edited, I'm just going to go over some of the settings. Now you need to click on the menu button in the lower right corner, go to settings, and you will see all the options that are available to configure your settings. Once you've configured your settings, you don't need to do it again unless for some reason you need to remove the account or sign into another account or remove the app or something. All right, so let's tap on the map. And the first thing that you'll notice is that it's the map is going to zoom into your current location. Before collecting actual data, I just want to show you how to measure as well as how to switch between base maps. So again, you're going to click on your menu button in the lower right corner, tap on base maps, and you'll see all the available base maps to you. So you can switch to whichever one will suit your current needs. If you tap on the menu button again and go to measure, you find that you can measure distances and areas and you can also get these figures in different units or in multiple units. You can also use the app to navigate to places and address by first searching for your area of interest and then getting the directions to that location. Now we're ready to collect actual data. Now I like to say click on that plus sign. I mean that's the best way to describe it. It's a plus sign at the bottom of your screen or at the bottom of your device. Uh, just tap on that. I have three features that are to be edited. But I also have a fourth feature and that's the location tracking that's a feature that collects itself pretty much that's one of the ArtGIS online feature templates that i will show you in my next video so you better subscribe let's collect our utility and the first thing we're going to put in is the height and we'll see that the domains that i showed you in the first video how it plays a role here because now we have our list of options for the field team to choose from, to select from. And that makes data collection a lot easier, one. And it also allows for a more streamlined data collection, meaning that there's less attribute errors. We're also going to take a picture. 
and yes it was at night when I did this so please pardon the darkness and that's our feature or utility feature rather being collected in collector online we're also going to collect a building feature and the way I'm going to collect it is to actually tap on the map to collect the corners you can also stream uh, meaning that you can walk around the building so um, there are two ways to collect your lines and your polygon features one by actually tapping on the map to collect it or two by streaming so you walk the length or you walk the perimeter Alright, so we've collected online, but what if for some reason you are going into an area where you won't get good signals, one, you won't get Wi-Fi, or it's just expensive to be using your data all the time. You can actually use Collector Offline by downloading your work area and just using the location services feature on your mobile device. So let's do that. We're going to go back to the main page where we have all our list of maps that are to be edited. And what we're gonna do is tap on the word download under the map. If you don't see the word download, it means that your map is not been enabled to do disconnected editing. So it means you're going to have to go to the feature layer settings in your ArtGIS online account and check enable sync in the settings. All right. So once you see download, you're going to tap on it. A work area box comes in the next window. So you're going to pan and zoom to your area of interest. It might be your town, it might be a smaller area, it might be your city, your state, or your province. So you're going to get that area, that general area into your workspace. In the next window, it's gonna zoom in a little bit further. So you wanna be mindful of that. All right, so once you get your work area, into your box you will just download you know that you are ready to use this map offline when you see the word sync instead of download when we're collecting data offline we can turn off our data mobile data that is or cellular data and we can turn off Wi-Fi your device will be dependent on the location services aspect so it's pretty much dependent on the internal GPS of your device and that's it and I'm ready to go back into the app and collect my feature now nothing changes in terms of how the feature is collected it's just that you will see that you are bounded to an area and that was the box that you chose when you were downloading that that workspace and again I click on that plus to go to my list of attributes or my to go to my list of features as you can see everything remains the same in terms of the way the attributes are collected everything remains the same it's just that once you check once you click on that check mark to finish uh, collecting you realize that instead of sending updates it's being stored on the device
Now that you've collected your data offline, you are ready to sync. We are going to turn on our mobile data or we will go back to where there's good Wi-Fi. I've turned on my Wi-Fi. Yes, the name of my Wi-Fi is No Free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Once we are connected to Wi-Fi or data, we will just go ahead and tap on the word sync. As you can see there, we have two features to sync. You know that we have two features when you see that number in bracket. Or you know that there are features to sync once you see some numbers beside sync in a bracket. So once we click on sync, of course, the features are uploaded to the ArcGIS online map. And we know that it is finished syncing once that number disappears. After syncing, you can remove your current work area in order to prepare for a new one. You will need to remove this area if you intend to collect data in an area that is outside of this bounding box. So you've collected data in the Collector for ArcGIS app, both online and offline. And now we are ready to get our data from ArcGIS online and into our geodatabase. So stay tuned for part two.